Hello and welcome to YouTube video for this 2001 Rexall Airbus model 3250 BSL. That's Bravo Sierra Lima. We sold it about a year, a little over a year ago. A couple brought it back and traded it back in. Bought a bigger motorhome, 38 foot with a three slide. This is a 32 feet motorhome. The purpose of this video to show you good, bad, and ugly. Uh, mostly a lot of good stuff. It's not a repo. It was an individual who had traded in. We sold it and it came back on trade. It's not a repo. All right, we got a uh, windshield are free from any cracks or star cracks or any major damage. Good visibility. Maybe there's a star crack I see. Uh, good solid mud home. Couple worked at Michelin Company here. Uh, really good shape. The mud home, they capped it really good. Every month or twice they went to, every twice a month they went to camp in it. Uh, engineer and IT guys, they very, very, uh, meticulous about their stuff. They took care of it. They're leveling jacks here. Got about 54,000 miles, 300 hours on generator. We'll, we'll go inside and show you this, all this stuff. Tires are, they just replaced the tires. Please take a look at all my uh, date codes. Uh, 0816, that means uh, tires were replaced last year after they bought it, or after about a year and a half ago they bought it, they put new tires. So we've got a year old tires. Uh, slide out topper in really good shape as you can see. Uh, two big slide out, window awnings, lots of underbelly storage. It even has a storage lights. This Rexall was built in a California, quality built California coach. They had a tire covers as well. This is a true turnkey motorhome. Ah, uh, this must be locked. That's a generator, actually. Uh, it's a Generac generator. Runs great. So we got no worries on tires. They're new tires. Ten-gallon hot water heater. That's why I opened it up. I want to make sure it looked big. So that's a plus, not a six gallon. Another awning. Body's in straight shape. Probably got a little bit of a sun damage on decals, but straight body, really nice fiberglass body. That's your wash bay. The money hole, gas tank. Over here, we have a 50 amp power cord rather than a 30 amp. Camp, campground cable hookup. All that stuff is located right here. Come around the back. You see a little bit of more sun damage right here. But really good shape. We're going to get up on top and show you the uh, fiberglass roof. We've got a Reese Type 3 hitch with a 5-pin hookup or 4-pin hookup. Probably about four or 5,000 pound towing capacity. We're gonna go around this side and then we're gonna get up on top. So another slide in the bedroom. More underbelly storage. I like just about everything works in this motorhome. Maybe that one needs a bulb. So big deep slide, look at this, it's not just a bed, it's a bed and a closet. So you got a bed up to here and then a big closet. So two big slides. For 32 footer, it's got a lots of interior room you'll see when we get inside. And you're gonna love it, what we just did, we'll put a hardwood floors. LP tank, pretty large size LP tank. So those winter month, if you wanna camp somewhere, got a lots of LP gas. Pretty deep storage here. Water pump for easy maintenance if you ever need to change it. Everything works, by the way. Those are the first time buyer, I'll recommend them. They need to do a third party RV inspection if, you, if they like to. Another deep storage. By the way, we have four leveling jacks. They're down right now, HWH. So we got leveling jacks too on this coach. 
Take a look at all these windows. They're not foggy, not fogged up or anything like that. Good tires, V10 with a 54,000 miles. The awning is in good shape. No tears or pinholes, in really good shape. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up on top and show you the, how the roof is. All right, look at this roof. Very, very clean, solid fiberglass, one piece roof. This is a California quality built motorhome. You don't find motorhomes like this anymore, okay? Just a quality construction. Take a look at this front cap. No dry rotter cracks or any uh, caulking or silicone problem or around the antenna or the King Dome satellite dish or none of these both air conditioned shroud not cracked up or tear up. Just a well capped motorhome. This is not a ignore sitting around somebody's backyard, uh, just a rotten away motorhome. This is a well camped. They just bought a 2010 Georgetown three slide out motorhomes for me. Very happy owners. Um, and we'll put a, they had a laminated floor or like stick on tile, we'll pull it out and we'll put a nice engineered wood. You're gonna love inside. So we got a little max air on top. Take a look at this uh, bathroom skylight. There's no issues up on top, just an excellent shape. The fiberglass roof, not a rubber roof. A slide out topper's in a really good shape. All right, let's get back down and finish this video. Get in this motorhome, you're gonna love it. Power step works. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna turn a light on just, just for the, uh, we got a beautiful, solid, engineered wood. This is not a laminate. Now, I'll tell you, when you go with this thicker wood, we do have one little issue, as you see right here, some surface scratches, okay? Uh, surface scratches right here a little bit, okay? Uh, that would be part of it. We will not charge you anything extra. So we got a few little uh, scratches. But other than that, take a look at this. Beautiful wood. So they had a stick on, but what we did, we put a hardwood floors. So it's got a few scratches beside that in beautiful shape. We have a Corian countertops, dual sinks, cabinets, microwave convection oven. This is where all your uh, Monitor panel is, water pump turn off and on. All this stuff is located right here. Hot water heater, has got electric hot water heater too. The, what you saw outside is LP gas or electric hot water heater. We have a three burner gas stove. They put nice little backsplash, it's just a wallpaper, but it looks very nice. Uh, more cabinet under, 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 under the stove, under the sink, some drawers. All right, so uh, we're going kind of going in a different direction, but we'll get to the driver's seat in a minute. All the books and records are right here. Take a look at it. I mean, it's well kept, well, well organized. By the way, 2001, and that's the title, 2001, when it was in California, okay? Back in 2001, issue date. But South Carolina put it as a 2004 title. A lot of states do that. So you're going to get a 2000 South Carolina title, but it is a 2001 model motorhome. So we've got all the owner's manuals are right here. Lots of paperwork. They had a regular couch. The couple changed it and put a, let's see, it's got a lever somewhere. If I can figure this thing out. Oh, right here. Okay. I guess that's how it works. Somehow or another, it, 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 it becomes really t uh, long. So they changed it to have a two-person recliner. They changed all the LED lights. Uh, this thing has a working fireplace. Let's see if I can figure that out it's hidden somewhere okay there we go yep so he's got a working fireplace how about that wow it's throwing so much heat nice LCD TV amplified antenna we left the carpet alone in the front it's very clean 
By the way, you'd love this, uh, some of the upgrades they've done. Got a nice, because it's summer, Cherry Coke is really, really nice sounding answer. radio. The backup monitor has a side signal. So when you turn right, you see the left and right, both sides. So when you turn, that's like a later model motorhome. So they have an upgraded camera system instead of just backup monitor. 54,373 miles, got a CB radio, power mirrors, um, all that normal stuff. You got a tilt wheel, cruise control. We'll do test drive video later, but right now we're gonna end without it. Look at the driver and passenger seat in very good shape. No tears or any excessive wear. They both swivel around. By the way, the previous owner just put a nice a privacy curtain. So it's not the old one with the condensation stain. They over, over the years of use, they get that. So none of that issue. Um, no water leaks, as you saw the solid roof up on top. That becomes a bed. Got a little closet here, some drawers here, side-by-side -side refrigerator. Coming back in the back, look at this. We got lots of room because that slide, like I was telling you outside, you got coat closet with some drawers. The mirror broke, so they just took the mirror out. You could get a mirror place and get you a mirror. Shoe rack, coat closet. It's got a nice sleep mattress. It's a nice mattress. They had changed it. You could change it again if you like to, but there's nothing wrong with this. It needs to go back. Okay, there we go. Got some storage under it. As you can see, I'm in a huge storage. Another Nice LCD TV. We got lots of counter space here. Vanity mirror. Some more cabinets. Oh, both sides you got little nightstands, tables with the drawers and stuff. And over here we have a private toilet and a glass enclosed shower. Let's see, that light needs to be on too. I don't know where the switch is. Huh, okay, oh, there we go. We got more lights. We have a nice size stand-up shower here. Very clean coach. By the way, this thing opens up, sort of gives you a privacy back here in the bedroom. We also have a, a sliding curtain here to give you privacy back in the bedroom. So this will conclude our, conclude our video. We'll add the uh, piece of a test drive later on. If you have any questions, give me a call. I prefer text messages, 864-404-0054. My number is 864-404-0054. We'll add a test drive later, V10. This modem is turnkey, ready to go. Will not last long, 32 feet, very short motorhome, uh, easy to go in a state park or national park. Uh, I'm excited to offer this. We'll have a clean title. We just paid it off. We should have it in a week or so. Thank you. Have a great day.